Do you have a new 2024 Ford Ranger on order? And you're like, hey, where's it at? What is going on? You're going to want to stick around and watch this. And if you're new to my channel, my name is David Boyd. I'm an auto journalist, and I love midsize pickup trucks. It's my favorite out of all truck segments. It's my favorite. And, well, I have one on order. I have a new 2024 Ford Ranger on order. And just like you, I watch the little pizza tracker every day, hoping there's some new news, hoping I don't get pushed back, move forward. And this goes for any brand, by the way. So if you're uh, not watching this specifically for the Ford Ranger, you're just curious what's going on. This is how how the uh, big three operates. So the way we're going to break this down. But first, I want to show some pictures. So we're going to bring these, these are, uh, I believe, last week or so at the Warren Assembly Plant, well, Michigan Assembly Plant in Warren. And these are fresh Rangers. Look at those freshies out there just waiting to be driven and waiting to get into your driveway. What is going on? Why are they holding on to these things? Because you may be one of the lucky ones that got an early build date, which was, I believe, job one started the 4th of January and has been moving ever since. And now we're into the end of January. And you're probably thinking, why have they they've built my vehicle? Or they it says in production anyways, why is it not moved to build? And why have they not shipped it? So we're going to get into that just a little bit because Ford has a quality issue. And I don't mean these trucks. I mean, in general, they've, they've struggled over the past couple of years of once they launch new models of just a lot of recalls. So they've been very diligent about trying to slow that down before they release any vehicles to the public or to your dealer. As it were. And what that means is they have to have so many days on the plants line before they actually will release dealers to buy these. And you'll you'll get to know this term, okay to buy or okay to sell. That is not for you. That is for the dealers to be able to uh, actually pick up their vehicles they've ordered. And Ford will not release these and not will give these out until they've met a certain deadline that they've set. And usually it's like three to five days on the line, production line, that nothing's happened. And, it, and, and when I say nothing's happened, it could be just a minor little tweak they've seen that they want to make sure that the run line is running as efficiently as possible. And none of these vehicles are getting to you with any issues. Now, remember this as well. If you're one, like most people want to be the one of the first ones to have one of these in your driveway, the first six months, they always tweak these things. So don't expect that it's, sometimes things can happen. I have a new 2024 Ford Mustang long-term review vehicle in the driveway. And trust me, there's been a couple things we've had to take back to the uh, the dealership to let them uh, kind of fix. But I know going into that. So I want you to as well know that, hey, it's don't go, you have some little tweak, something about the radio, maybe a knob doesn't work right. Something in the programming that radio doesn't work right. And you're like, well, this is just Ford quality. No, they, they, they get this the best they can, but we're do talking about making millions of these things. There's going to be initially some issues. But let's look at these photos because I think these are pretty telling. So from the get-go, you can see, it looks like, a, I think it says a Lariat, uh, the best I can tell. Nice looking vehicle. Looks like the nice shiny wheels on this. And there you can see one in cactus gray. This looks like the Azure gray. And you can see a white Ranger Raptor there. There's another white Ranger Raptor, the uh, reddish Ranger Raptor, black. I mean, they're are all out there. As we can zoom into this field, you just see Rangers everywhere. And you're probably thinking to yourself, man, when are they going to ship these things? Well, part of the deal with not shipping these things is they haven't had press drive just yet. And you may think that's trivial. Like, hey, they've built the vehicles. I, you know, I, I don't need a review. I've already ordered it. They don't want any of these things going out there till the media gets their hands on them and can kind of say, hey, it's a great vehicle. And that is just because they're generating all this PR. There's a big PR push right now forward to get ready to do this. So they, they're spending millions and millions and millions of dollars to do this. So this is how they operate. But as you can see here, look at that, man. That is a good looking. I love those wheels on, on that one there. I believe that's probably an XLT. It doesn't say FX4 package or anything, but it looks very sporty as you can see those wheels there. And these things are going to be, this is going to be a home run for Ford. Now, is this thing going to completely compete with the Tacoma that just came out? I don't know. I think Ford offering these Ranger Raptors, as you can see right here, I think that's been a game changer for, for the brand to have something very high performance. You know, where in the past, you know, Toyota's had the TRD, the TRD Pro, which I don't find them to be super high performance, but they were much better than the normal XLs that, that Ford offered in the Rangers previously. And I think this is going to really help Ford's image. I can see some commercials now in my head of how they showcase these new Rangers Raptors. And it's exciting to me and hopefully it's exciting to you. But you may be thinking to yourself, hey, mine's out there somewhere right could be and i also want to want to temper this as we look to a final couple of photos you may get yours and you may see it has 30 40 miles on it one thing could be they have a test track they it's bumpy road they may hear something in production they think oh we got something squeaking something let's take a look at it for one you know that that's just part of their quality control of, of when they're running these vehicles two these vehicles get moved from yard to yard all the time they don't just produce them and they sit there till they're ready to ship a lot of times they will these are staging yards they might be splitting them up to for regions you know because some of these will get on rails and and there is a rail yard and there is a normal, I think it's like within 500 miles forward will ship it before they rail. They will, they will push them out that way. So 
don't expect, you know, yours, a lot of them will come with like eight, 12 miles on them, but you will occasionally see one that has 30, 40 miles on it. And just know Ford was overly testing your vehicle to make sure that it is proper and, you know, what you ordered. And at the prices these things are nowadays, I damn sure want them to uh, make sure I have a great vehicle. But as you can see here, love this. It's it's great to see all these out here. And this is just, they haven't even gotten started. This yard will be crammed full. They'll be closer together the next time you see one of these photos. And you are going to love this vehicle, I promise you. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know below. I try to get to everybody's uh, issues and, and, you know, walk you through this. I've been doing this a long time. I've done this through three Ford vehicles now, the Bronco, the Mustang, and now the ranger where i've heavily tracked how they operate and i can assure you eventually you will see that tracker but you're not probably going to see it till the end of to the end of March, honestly. So they're going to store these things up and make a big push. Even though you might've been one of the first to, uh, that got a build date, you may be one of the further down to actually get delivered. So build date doesn't mean anything. And it's however Ford pushes these things out. It's how they do that. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or these badass Rangers that I cannot wait to drive and, uh, really prove that that Ranger Raptor is the king of the hill. It's been your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. And we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.